again with uh, Jack and Priscilla Erickson and Phyllis Isabel. Well, sometimes in life we see analogies, and this song is an analogy, because if you think about it, in a way, life is a ball game. Two, three, four. Well, life, life is a ball game being played each day. Well, life, life is a ball game everybody can play. Well, Jesus standing at the home plate, he's waiting for you there. Well, life, life is a ball game, but you got to play it fair. Now, first base is temptation, the second base is sin. Third base, tribulation, if you pass, you can make it on in. Now, old man Solomon's the umpire, and Satan's pitching the game. He'll do his best to strike you out, but keep playing just the same. Now Daniel is up to bat first, well he prayed three times a day. And Satan pitched him a fastball, but he hit it anyway. And Job was up to bat next, Satan pitched to him every way. But Job hit a home run, and he came on in that day. Well, life, life is a ball game being played each day. Well, life, life is a ball game everybody can play. Well, Jesus is standing at the home plate. He's waiting for you there. Well, life, life is a ball game, but you got to play it fair. Now, prayer is a strong bat to hit at Satan's ball. And when you start to swing it, you got to give it your all in all. And faith is going to be your catcher, on him you can depend. And Jesus is standing at the home plate, he's waiting for you to come in. Now Moses is on the sidelines, he's waiting to be called. You know the day he parted the Red Sea, he knew God did it all. And John came in the ninth inning when the game was almost done. But God gave John a vision and he knew he'd already won. Well, life, life is a ball game being played each day. Well, life, life is a ball game everybody can play. Now Jesus is standing at the home plate. He's waiting for you there. Life is a ball game, but you got to play it fair. Well, life, life is a ball game, but you got to play it fair. Song by Peter Mayer. And he's not a traditional folk singer. He makes new folk songs. And they're full of wonder, which is why I love them. When I was a kid in school Sunday we would go to church Say a penance to the priest As he would preach the holy word Consecrate the holy bread Everybody would kneel and bow Today the only difference is That everything is holy now Everything Everything, everything is holy now. When I went to Sunday school, they would teach about the time Moses split the sea in two, and Jesus made the water wine. And I remember feeling sad, miracles don't happen still. But now I can't keep track Cause everything's a miracle Everything, everything Everything's a miracle And wine From 
water is not so small But an even greater magic trick Is that anything is here at all So the challenging thing becomes Not to look for miracles But finding where there isn't one when holy water was a rare at best, I barely wet my fingertips. Now I have to hold my breath like I'm swimming in a sea of it. It used to be a world half there, except heaven's second rate hand me down. Now I walk it with a reverent air, cause everything is holy now. Everything, everything, everything is holy now. And read a questioning child's face. See, that's not a testament. Well, that'd be very hard to say. Or watch another new morning come. Say that's not a sacrament Tell you that it can't be done This morning outside my door Saw a little red-winged bird Shining like a burning bush And singing like a scripture verse Made me want to bow my head I remember when church lit out Today the only difference is Everything is holy now Used to be a world half there Heaven's second rate hand me down I walk it with a reverent air Cause everything is holy now Everything, everything Everything is holy now Everything Everything, everything is holy now. Everything, everything, everything is holy now. It was a warm night in late November as my husband and I were strolling along past a garden. Over top of a wrought iron fence, lay a tumble of white roses, each one a perfect beauty. Something compelled me to stop and take one perfect bud. And as I did, I held it up and I said, look, honey, a November rose. Was November's rose that whispered as I was slipping past. Circumstances tell me this night may be my last. Yet should I find tomorrow, oh, December shan't be kind. The November's rose did whisper, lift me from this vine. For thousands past since dawning, blind unto my plight, and hundreds past since noonday, seeing without sight, and now with dark upon me, all the stars I'll still outshine, the November's rose did whisper, lift me from this vine. You alone have ears to hear me, you've listened and you've turned to hear my petals open, a mystery here to learn. Such knowledge is a wonder, or perhaps you seek a sign that November's rose yet whispered, lift me from this vine. November's rose was singing, 
November's last refrain, October's sleet had fallen, disguised as autumn rain. And as December, unrelenting, stole the misty light of day, Lift me from this vine, she cried, carry me away. Can you bear to touch me? Such beauty might you share. For you alone have heard my voice, thus you alone must care. Care enough to act, for now the hoarfrost spares no time. Then November's rose did shiver, so I drew her from the vine. Twas November's rose that whispered as I was slipping past, while to her voice I hearkened, still in the end, alas, the hours fled by like moments, her petals did decline, and withered in my fingertips, severed from the vine, severed from the source of life, severed from the earth. Looking for some comfort, she was longing for some mirth. Ah, she was riding warm so briefly, refusing her design. November's rose lay silent, lifted from the vine. November's rose was singing, November's last refrain. October's sleet had fallen, disguised as autumn rain. And as December, unrelenting, stole the misty light of day, oh, lift me from this vine, she cried, carry me away. Carry me away.